Hello friends, today I will show you how to create a sales invoice in MS Excel. So let me start with that without doing the delay. Let me open uh, MS Excel 2010. So uh, let's assume that I have a small grocery shop where I have some items and then in that particular items, sometimes I have to prepare a sales invoice. So that cases, uh, it will be really useful for you friends uh, if you follow this uh, format so let me start abc grocery grocery i'll give your address address you can give any of the address i'll give yes. okay and then the format will go like this serial number and then here will be particulars or you can write items which available in your which is available in your shop grocery shop and then you can write here quantity and then rate you can give here as total so let me maximize the size yes and then i'll change the style also as in cfp so march 8 bold little bit size i'll increase and i'll give your color as and the address size also i'll march it size is okay and i'll give your address okay serial number particulars or items little bit increase the size and I'll go to the format auto fit column width. So this way what happened it will automatically fit. I will just increase the particulars or items sales. I will be quantity and then rate and then total serial number. So I'll highlight all the sales and from home tab I'll just apply all borders. So it looks a little bit good. And after that, I'll maximize the size of of scenes. So here, what I'll do, I'll write all the items whichever presents in my grocery shop. So what I'll do for that reasons, it is very difficult for me to type again and again my items. So this case is what I want to do is I'll make one drop down list, drop down list, so that whenever customers visit to my shop, I'll automatically select from here and I can choose the items whatever he or she want to wants to buy so let me do that how to do that it is very pretty it is very simple so i will select all the cells till where i want to apply the list so after selecting what i'll do i'll go to the data tab and from data tools group i'll select here data validations and from here i'll select from the setting tab anywhere list so from list in the source box what i'll do i'll mention all the available grocery items in my shop examples like i'll write here rice sugar ghee oil butter butter and then i'll be even writing like coffee coffee tea. so you can mention as much as items which you have in your shop for this cases for the demonstrations demonstration cases i have mentioned only those items so i'll click ok after this so friends you can easily see here the items are listed here so it's very easy for me you can even see here i'll zoom it out see here easily you can see the items is present here okay suppose for example see here ol in place of ol i want to make it oil i want to edit this so what i have to do i have to go back again and select till where i want to apply this items 
I'll select here. I'll go back to the same process data data validations and from here I'll write here OIL 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 click it okay now you check your things are ready your items are rectified so it is very simple whenever customers visit to your shop then you don't have to type it again and again let me zoom it and I'll show you again see here now it's getting rectified so what happened whenever customers comes to your shop it's very easy for you to give uh, I select an items in this way it is very easy so let me select this one rice and the quantity is let's say one bag and then the rate let's say 900 rupees then total how to find the total it is very simple we have to multiply quantity and then rate so for that cases how I'll do I'll first type the equal sign here and from here I have to look the sales my quantity is present in which column it is in C column so I will type here equal to C okay and then row number I have to select it from here row columns C and then row is 4 so 4 into C4 into my rate lies on D column so therefore I'll type here D and then row number is 4 D4 C4 into D4 equal to 900 so if I change the quantity into 2 then automatically it will become 800 so this cases it is very easy for you to for you to find out the total also as well so after that what I'll do here in the last call last sales I'll march it here till here and I'll apply the border as well and then I'll march till here and I'll write here total total sales total amount I can write here to be paid total amount to be paid so let's say this is the total amount which need to be paid by the customer total amount need to be paid so what I'll do I'll do it here the total of all the items whatever purchase items here so I'll go with the sum formula because I have to plus all the sales from from four uh, from this so row number 4 up to 20 so it is very simple to do that equal to sum sum open the bracket from here I have to do total from 1800 that is e4 my sales is uh, my my columns is in e and then row number is 4 so therefore I'll type here e4 up to is 2 where I have to type e20 my sales number is e20 so I'll type till here and I'll close the bracket and give here and that is 1800 is my total as of now so I'll add item here let's say number two the customers is asking me sugar let's say quantity will be three kgs of the sugar the rate is let's say 50 rupees per kg then it should come here automatically 150 rupees so how to make that one it is very simple see here you have seen one small box out here you have to drag it down till here so yes it's become 150 now if i change the quantity as only 2 kg so it will automatically change as 100 and then even the total amount need to be paid also what changes so again i'll add number three items g quantity will be one and then the rate of g is 450 per kg let's say 450 rupees yes the sales also or the amount need to be paid also is increasing so let me check again another items let me add number four some other item butter let's say 20 pieces of butter i want the per piece is 45 rupees 900 so automatically even the amount is increasing out here the amount need to be paid also increasing here so friends this way you can easily easily make a cash sales a sales cash memo for your shop hope so you like it if you like it please share my channels and subscribe my channel for the latest excel videos and basic computer fundamentals videos thank you friends for your watching have a nice day